This is my take on Harpies in gold format. First off, for the monster cards that are treated as Harpy Ladies, I play the one Harpy Lady 1. She increases the attacks of all wind monsters by 300 points. Next up is one copy of Harpy Lady 2. She negates the effect of flip effect monsters she destroys by battle. And for the last Harpy Lady monster, I went for the one copy of Cyber Harpy. She has the highest attack stats among all Harpy Ladies. Next in line are two copies of Harpy Lady Sisters. Uh, who can only be special summoned by the effect of Elegant Egotist and function as beat sticks that can even run over the likes of Air Knight Pasha and can be powered up by Triangle Ecstasy Spark to lo colossal 2700 attack points in order to deal with la larger monsters. For the searchers, I play two Birdface and search out the OG Harpy Lady monsters and one Sangan. Then I chose three Flying Kamakiri number one. Uh, that f when destroyed by battle can float into Harpy Lady 1 or Harpy Lady 2. And for swarming the board with monsters who benefit from wind monsters and grave, which there will be plenty of thanks to Flying Kamakiri and Birdface, I play one Garuda the Wind Spirit and two Sylphite. Both can only be summed by removing from play one wind monster and crave. And while Garuda lets you change the battle position of one of the opponent's monsters during the end phase, Sylphid, when destroyed by battle, makes the opponent randomly discards one card from their hand. On to the staple monsters. For deck thinning and to replenish bad hands, I opted to play the one Morphing Jar. To recycle Elegant Egotist and other important spells, I play two Magician of Faith. Breaker is there for additional spell and trap removal. And DD Warrior Lady and Tribe Infecting Virus cope with problematic monsters that otherwise cannot be run over so easily. And rounding up the monster lineup is one Sinister Serpent. Coming to the archetype related spell cards, we play three copies of Harpy's Hunting Crown. It affects its effect reads, every time a Harpy monster is special or normal summoned, we have to pick one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. Next up, whenever we control a Harpy Lady monster, we can use Elegant Egotist to special either Harpy Lady 1 Harpy Lady 2, Cyber Harpy or Harpy Lady Sisters from deck or hand and make our plays from there on. If we want to increase our wind monster's attack stats, we go for Harpy Lady 1. When assuming a face down monster has a flip effect, we pick Harpy Lady 2. Or when we want to beat over big monsters, we go for Cyber Harpy or even better Harpy Lady Sisters, especially if we have the next card in hand, which is Triangle Ecstasy Spark which boosts Harpy Lady Sisters attack to 2700 attack points and prevents Mirror Force and even Sakuretsu armor. On to the staple spells. We play the Trinity, Pot of Creed, Crest for Charity, Delinquent Duel, as always. One Snatch Steel, one Premature Burial, one Mystical Space Typhoon, one Heavy Storm, and for additional mass removal, one Lightning Vortex. And for the trap lineup, we play one Torrential Tribute, one Mirror Force, one Ring of Destruction, and one Call of the Haunted. That's it. And all, as always, the deck list can be found in the, in the description, in the video description. Thank you for your attention.